Oh shit. You go out for a piss and find yourself midstream and the din of combat erupts behind you. Pitching it off, you fix your drawers and head back to the, for the encampment. There you find the whole company engaged in battle, not with any particular foe, but with itself. Cell swords are clambering over equipment and the campfire on each other to swing fists and spin elbows and wrestle one another around or tackle each other to the ground. Anyone who falls gets their ass kicked, literally, until someone else comes along to distract the ones doing the kicking. Then the one who had fallen jumps to their feet and throws themselves back into the fray. The old fracas eases as the men slowly realize you're there, and they shape up and line up as though a swift reorganization would be a suitable resolution for their churlish behavior. Shaking your head, you ask what sparked it. The men shrug. Not a one can remember. You do a roll call to make sure nobody's dead. You then tell them all to shake hands, keep an eye on them as they do so. No bad blood to sniff out. Seems like this was just a bit of fun, tussle and wrestle, that's all. Nothing like a good brawl, eh? Hello, hello? Ah! Just hoping for spiders. And we're in no shape to take these unholds on, which is a pity, because I'd love to get there. Uh, I'd love to get their, uh, their items. What we can do is take on the undead, though. This is good XP. Great training for the lower level guys. In fact, for a fight like this, my archers would do just well to have just pikes. I feel like using the ammunition is a bit of a waste. For a second, I thought that said 44. I was like, fucking what? We'll keep an answer, Chew Break, his hit points are quite low. weapons that the zombies have have particularly high armor piercing so don't feel like there's too much to be concerned about That one with that little uh, pick would actually do a, a quite nasty bit of armor damage. go down here not really hit ah sillies nah I can't swing in a big circle oh well Clark McDowd is consistently underperforming it's pretty disappointing
The right work. Tell you what, if you wait, hopefully the Frosty can get himself back. Worth a try. Yay! So that's going to allow Sir Chubrak now to thresh. It's a tube wreck. I'd be thrilled to get my hands on a legendary two handed flail. Sometimes the numbers are pretty disappointing, it can roll as low as 40 damage. Bad damage. Dodge, nice. Uh, war brands are actually excellent weapons though. they really are damn I should have recovered there that was a mistake just wasted his turn big thresh oh yeah big thresh Okay, we're almost done here. Great 
Good job, Cesar. I want to see how many kills Cesar has. He's been consistently pretty scary. Last like 300 XP for almost everyone. Plus ones, dude. You are fucking killing me. You know that. Um, I was gonna say I have to give him fast adaptation, but he already has fast adaptation, and he has gifted, and still only seventy at eight. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. That being said, with those rubbish skills, he's done well. You know, he's contributing. He's definitely contributing. The Frosty, our shield breaker. Let's see, what does my other shield breaker have? Yeah, recover is pretty good. For 83 fatigue, I think I'll go killing frenzy at 10, and then at 11 we'll go recover and colossus. Let's see if we can't find those the spiders while casually being chased by a friggin horde of unhold oh we lost them for a second oh, it is actually the unhold that, whose footprints we saw that i thought might have been the spiders hmm It's just so typical how earlier on you, you can't move for being surrounded by spiders. But now when you actually want to find the buggers, you can't get them anywhere. Well, more zombies. More zombies, more experience. It's all good stuff. Uh, sit you, Brick. Move up. I'm looking at that two-handed flail and I'm imagining getting hit with that in for real in a combat situation must be a nightmare. Big heavy spike, like how do you defend that? You have to block the head with a shield and even then that's gonna hurt like hell. Hold the line, boys. Here they come. See, I want to leave Sir Chubrek free to use Thresh. Another downside to the two-handed flail. I mean, if that was a great sword, he'd be doing much better. His, his aim could be better. He would have benefited from the increased accuracy. <laughs> oh, crunch. Oh, 
so close. So, like, fighting these zombies isn't really having us progress forward. But what it is doing is, is getting a nice amount of XP on these two newer archers that we have. So I think that's worth it. Might not be the most exciting or glamorous, but hey, it's super important. So I've been thinking about who we're going to recruit next, and I, I definitely do want to get some of the more expensive and top-tier brothers. But then the question is, do we start shopping for the high-quality brothers, or do we keep pressing to make sure everybody has the best weapons they can have first? And I think getting the gear first is probably a good idea. says I was a monster. Oh, come on. I hope we have fatigue for a thresh there. Yes. Thunk. That's better, Satubrak. That's the kind of performance I, I want to see from you. nicely fought <sighs> where are we gonna find spiders nice fatigue fatigue can always get better as an archer berserk time although recover before berserk more realistic because once I run out of fatigue then I really can't use berserk at all so we could still take on these unhold you know what sort of hit points are we working with still not healed up Perhaps I'm best off just continuing to work for actual missions from the cities and then eventually we'll get one where we get asked to hunt down spiders. It's just a matter of being patient. Like here's one that's to hunt down what terrorizes. With a bit of luck. So, yes, I know I could get way better prices in one of the big cities, but I want the inventory space. Please let it be spiders terrorizing this place. I also hope that at some point, or even if it's modded in, they allow you to actually buy, you know, particular um, animal parts. You know, like if, you, if you, like now, if I could go to a taxidermist, 
It would be fair enough if I had to pay through my ass for it, but... I mean, fine. But l l let me buy exactly what I need. Let's hope this caravan doesn't get involved. They'll just get in the way. Holy fuck, are they all frenzied? Wow. This could get quite saucy. Oh, I needed that. Come on. Almost the entire front line is going to be damn near useless on the next turn because they're all going to be so fucking overwhelmed. I really did not expect almost all of them to be frenzied. Not ideal. So close. Yes! Get him! If that hits and is able to uh, then proc his berserk. Okay, that's huge. Well done, Sir Chubrek. You see how much better he does with the sword. Fuck, I thought he had quick hands. Whoopsie. Ah, unlucky. Okay, good round. Seven percent, may as well try. <laughs> Swapperino. Yes, Balunski in there. Good 
boy, Seth. Let's just wait till that Dalwolf goes down. <laughs> right hit. A headshot, no less. Javelins. Great damage. Uh, seeing the damage of those throwing weapons makes makes me look forward to the DLC coming out and using the peasant horde. There's gonna be plenty of space to use throwers. But one thing to consider though is having such a big line with so many ranged weapon users is gonna be so expensive just for ammunition. Should be a lot of fun though. This is surprisingly nasty. These wolves do not fuck about. <laughs> Hoping for the panic there. <laughs> Cesar adds yet another notch to his bow. Lost count now. Well done, boys. Sweet. And another armor coating we got. Mark's level 6, and he keeps rolling plus 4s, and his range defense is great too. I think I can actually afford, no hang on, we'll go hit points, let Nimble do its thing. Where are my arrows? Oh, there they are. Yes, taxidermist. Give me those wolf coats, wolf pelt mantles. There's clout, full neck. This says Arca, he's already got his wolf mantle. Kilt. Full mech at level 7 will get nimble, then we can put him in one of these. Ooh, is a two star mission. What you got? 3,000, pay us more. 4,000. I'll do it. Look at the money, guys. Look at the money. Although, before we report into the war camp, let's just go hit these coastal cities and stock up on tools. Tools are worryingly low. Go away, orcs. Shit, we're gonna have to fight them. Okay. I think we'll just leave the usual setup that we have. It's a pity I've got some damaged armor there.
Let's go for some poison instead. I don't think it's worth using a spear wall just because of how good the secondary weapons are. Although perhaps the long sword is better for the extra armor damage. 37 to 56 to armor. 85 to 105, yeah, it's way better. I think I don't need the spear wall because our lads with their ranged weaponry should soften up those orcs before they hit our front lines sufficiently. Hold the line, let him come boys. Let him come. Apply your poison, that's for sure. No need to put shields up yet. We'll shield up on the next turn. Okay, he'll die to poison, so no more damage on him. <laughs> These crossbows are made for orc hunting. So what happened there? Did he not have enough AP to do the stun? I'm still trying to figure out how exactly that charge attack works. I think that's because we had enough uh, defense to actually dodge when he charged in. Ah, unlucky. Good shooting, boys. This is scary for Lodorak, but for a triple hit, it's worth it. I believe all my backline have uh, has the fancy feet skill, so we should be fine on that account. I don't think Fulmac does. <laughs> Kill whatever you can, see if you can't break morale. Yes. I need to hit a target that doesn't have much armor. Cut it down. I 
kind of want to stay here because one of these two orcs will move into the the height disadvantage against Mersault. Okay, maybe not. Interesting. Ow. That dagger is exceptional at breaking. <laughs> Fuck off. Now we got a save kilt. Mersault will rotate him out if he survives. Shit. So I could do Aloysius, but then I don't want Aloysius in contact with these three. In five turns, eight turns, fourteen turns. Okay, it's fine. Mersault will be able to help him out. Orcs, man, nasty. I tell you. See, actually, in retrospect, the Nets would have been a much better play. And I'll bear that in mind for the next fight against any Orc Warriors. Good dodging, Aloysius. Okay, so we've got... Wow, for three more turns. Fuck, he's going to bleed to death on the next turn. So who's got bandages? This is when I find out no one's carrying bandages. Okay, so Clout McDowd is the only one carrying bandages. The so Clout McDowd has to get out of melee combat on this next turn. So that he can treat the <laughs> Clark McDowd doesn't doesn't have uh, footwork, so he can't get away. So it means being knocked back. There's a thirty percent chance if I hit him that he's stunned. Okay, sweet. The fact that he's broken now means Cloud can move and save Kilt from bleeding to death. No! Oh. Uh, I just reflexively shot and I didn't fucking think because I'm a moron. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kilt. I got you killed. If by some miracle they flee in the next turn or two... Let's just hope, pray for brain damage. I'm a dumbass. Oh, I'm sorry, Kilt. Well, Bleeder isn't. Bleeder is what killed him. No, he bleeds to death this turn anyway. 
Uh, I'm sorry, killed. And I think that's dead, not struck down. Fuck's sake. And that's so typical, like, the very next moment after he beats to death, the battle's won. And I am a dumb, dumb man. Oh. Fucking orcs. Damn, it was all going so well. Oh, <laughs> killed. Fucking overconfidence. See, it's someone who doesn't yet have Nimble that I didn't give a shield. With a the shield there, he might have had a chance to switch to the shield, open up shield wall, and save himself. God damn it, Stobby, you asshole. Kilt. Rest in peace, brother. Sorry. So it was supposed to be a straightforward fight. My bad, my bad. Oh God, I feel sick. Six, seven. Damn orcs. Oh, God. And the fact that it's entirely my fault makes it so much worse. Shit. Let's see, turned over stones, not far west of here. And I really needed him to help us take on this mission now, this war, war related mission. Uh, at least I'm consistent, I consistently screw things up and get people killed. Fuck sakes. So at least see if we can find tilted stones on the way to Krakenland. Well, I think we need to go to the training hall anyway. Yeah, the one at Krakenland. The problem is now, I don't think any of the friendly cities have a Fletcher. I'm surprised that this house is friendly. Okay, it's only Roomholt who's hostile, that's interesting. So we'll, I think we can forget about that mission for now. This will be interesting to see how long it stays active until we technically fail it. But we're not going to do that until we have gotten enough tools and hired another hunter or two. Because we still needed one to begin with and I've just gotten one killed.
Why do I do shit like that? I was just busy narrating how I have to get Aloysius Clark McDowd. And like without even thinking, it wasn't even a conscious thing. It was click, click, shoot, move, and then realize, fuck. Literally the worst. Is there not maybe oh, he's tempting? But that's very expensive. See, like, I'm not going to buy them unless they have gear that I want because most likely I'll spend that 5,000 and it'll be a straight waste. Any tips for us, maybe? I don't know what to say, I just feel all quiet. <laughs> I think I fucked it up. 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20. That should be plenty. Oh, that be sick. Well, anyway, we, if we go take on that mission now, it needs to be Tobit who takes part in that battle, so. Yeah, crossbow and long axe is the best he can use. Yeah. Don't paint these coifs. Yeah, I don't think so. That looks way better. The gold and the, and the red. <sighs> it's taking all the energy out of my body. Okay, let's end the episode there before I burst into tears. When we come back, we will hit Thunstetten and... Does it really matter? Let's just go do this mission and then it's we're fully on a hunt to get ourselves ranged guys. I think Weissendorf has hunter's cabins. Thanks for watching friends and thanks for putting up with my consistently shit play. <laughs> we come back. We'll be taking another taking in taking part in another big battle, which I imagine it must be the last one. This civil war has been going for geez like three months now. Crazy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.